Hey, wait, let's just do what, what we can. We'll put the fire out, but we gotta preserve the crime scene. That way we can figure out what happened. Yeah, it's causing animosity between the firefighters, myself, and the other captains, and the assistant chief of all. But I will say this if you're in my firehouse, you're going to treat the firefighters with respect. That is. This firehouse belongs to the government. I'm aware of that, but I am the chief. I am in this position for a reason, and you're going to treat my firefighters with respect. They are your firefighters too, and they expect you to be a leader, not a boss. Sure, dude. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to San Andreas' Finest. Dufflin Glennon, the chief, is back on duty after fully recovering from that explosion. As you guys saw, he was in a wheelchair for a while and everything. But he is doing much better now, so uh, this is great. I won't overwalk you. Just making a good <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Your Highness. Ooh, packed in here. God, jump He is her. Jesus Christ. Hello, Glad to have Chief. you back, Chief. Thank you. Welcome oh, back, Chief. Oh, I got the lights right, right the mate. Thank you, guys. Good to see y'all again. Back, Thank you. How, how are you doing, Chief? Ah, uh, much better. I feel I feel like a new man, an older man, but a new man. It's like, it's like, it's like I'm not a new tire. I'm just a retreaded tire. That's basically it. I think Neil Young said, "I won't retire, but I might retread." Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. You want to add some retraining to that as well? <laughs> did, did you miss my puns? Gaming communities, it's time to organize your drive documents all in one place. Sonoran CMS offers a centralized portal for everything, restricts access based on community rank, and even offers document watermarking and copy prevention. Learn more at sonorancms.com slash ocean. Make it quick, obviously, so station two can get up. Today, I think it's like, what, 35 degrees, so it's not quite freezing just yet, but you're obviously still going to get some uh, slippy roads and whatnot. Make sure you're driving safely. Reminder of the new policy, 65, no higher within city limits. If you're caught going over that, then there will be repercussions. I don't care if you've been told to expedite, they cannot go over 65. <clears throat> If you want to be hitting any pedestrians, I'd suggest you keep under that speed. In the EMS protocols, there's been a slight revision of the pronouncement of death policy, just some kind of extra little things to go over. So if you could all just have a quick look at that, it's nothing. There's no really any changes, just some small additions, just to make sure everyone knows exactly what should be done before pronouncing someone as deceased. In the room, we, okay, we don't have two anymore. We have one probationary firefighter, uh, K. He has reached the end of his probationary phase, so if everyone could give him a nice clap for reaching firefighter. Woo! Congratulations. 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 If people can also just remember the uh, RTO policy, so don't use your actual call sign unless you actually have to. Use your last names, it's what they're there for. If you have to call in um, and you're on an apparatus, you don't call in your call sign, you call in the apparatus. If you're on Medic 1, you call in as Medic 1. If you're on Engine 5, you call in as Engine 5. There's no need to use your call signs. Not everyone can remember your call signs, especially me. I'm clueless with call signs and I'm clueless with names sometimes, but just basic names over radio, sure to whoever, whoever to sure, you know, very simple, that's all. We love you, you're a name, not a number. Precisely. At last. Right, so wonderful. If no anyone has any questions, concerns, suggestions, or general observations. You look lovely today, sir. Thank you, David. Seconded. You lovely as well. All in favor, say aye. 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 Nay. Nay. Aye. Nay. Po Nay. Wow, okay. <laughs> of course, this is jealous. <laughs> We're wearing the same uniform. What are you on about? Yeah, but I'm just better than you. You've got ginger hair. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, uh, everyone's just hey! Matthews oh, and Kevin, if you could uh, uh, just hold back for me. Right, everyone out, Fight Club. Yep. The Let's Fight Club is being said by Fight Club. Samuel's managed to clap herself into the shadow room. I can't even compose myself after that one. Gingers versus the uh, Speaker of the House. Thousands of us gingers die every single year to make gingerbread. This is not acceptable. I lost my soul because of my hair. <laughs> Sorry, what? Just saying, welcome back. Thank you, I appreciate you. It's good to be back. Where did Kevin go? Oh, that's the mistake, but I'll, I'll go chase after one second. Sorry, Chief. Excuse me. Call me. Call me. Oh, I'm gonna skedaddle. Matthews, are those pumps approved? I was not aware. I have to go deal with that. Like um, cheap. I mean, if they're not, I'll I'll change. I just yeah, as far as I'm aware, I don't think they're on the what is it? On Name is it not? policy. So. You have an issue with it? Call me Bolin. Yeah, you have an issue with it. You, you didn't call me Bol Baldy. Bald win. Okay, right. I heard Baldy. Okay, okay. Hey, are there? Who are you? <laughs> I'm uh, Chief Khan. We uh, we Ooh. haven't we haven't officially met yet. Unfortunately, I was uh, in an accident around the time that you uh, came in to step in here. I see. Is that why you haven't been around for like a month? Yeah, pretty much. I've been recovering from uh, that explosion up in uh, the uh, county. Okay, I guess you have a, a good enough excuse. I thought maybe you were one of them chiefs that are never around. No, no, not likely. Uh, so I think you and I are on engine tonight. Okay. Um, That's all right. Yeah, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Um, do you mind if we step into what is actually Campbell's office? I think it's uh, sure behind us there, just so we can... Yes, absolutely. Cool. Sorry. Uh, Metallian 2-4 radio. I'll be right back. The station 2 units are heading up to station 2 now. Let's turn down my radio real quick. Uh, so how you how have you been adjusting to uh, working down here? I have actually been very disgusted by the professionalism that some of these firefighters are showing. Okay. Uh, any examples you have? Yes. I've had a firefighter, one, put some water on my seat or some type of liquid and thought it was funny. I heard from another firefighter that happened to be Ripley. I've had Morgan be extremely disrespectful of my authority. It's a long list. Okay. Um, well, uh, you know, kind of like a kind of likewise. I've um, actually had some um, unofficial complaints um, given to me about you um, that I want to talk to you about. Um, okay, so you want to ask me what my issues are and then go immediately to issues against me. Well, it's it's give and take, yeah. I mean, it's that's how we do things. Um, okay, well then, how are we gonna handle the firefighters are being disrespectful to their chief? Well, I need. I have no authority to fire him since I am temporary. That is true. Um, well, I need those filled out in writing and put on my desk so that I can, you know, address them. Um, so there's that. Uh, but regarding, you know, some of the things that I've been hearing is, is, um, you seem to be a bit mm, aggressive, uh, with the firefighters. And I think maybe that could be what's sparking some of the behavior that is coming. Cause I will say I've been with a lot of these firefighters for a long time and, um, their behavior is usually quite outstanding and we do joke around and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, when it comes to maybe someone who's has a different method of, um, you know, treating their coworkers, uh, they might kind of butt heads uh, with that kind of approach. So I think maybe that's where we're coming from with this one. You are enabling their behavior just because they do not like the way I handle things. Is that what I'm hearing? Because that is what I am hearing, Chief Glennon. 
I wouldn't say I'm enabling you giving, behavior. You are giving them an excuse for their behavior right now. No, it's not an excuse. I would see it more as a, as a reason. Because like I said, I, I have a lot of time with these firefighters, and I know that they will joke around, and I've had, you know, similar things happen with me, with them, where we, you know, pull pranks on one another and stuff. That's just a firehouse life. Um, but I know that there's been some people who are a little like upset with the way they've been treated as well. So it's a, it's a two-way street. You gotta, you gotta look at it that way. It's a two-way street. Um, some people might be treating you the way that they're being treated, and, you know, this is something that I've not seen before now, if that makes sense. And how am I treating them that's any different other than being a little more strict with how I handle things? It sounds like you're a little more aggressive than strict. Like, I, I, I appreciate In what strict... way? What way? Can I give some examples, sir? Uh, I think it's... For example, like, just for small things, having people run laps. Um, you know, there is talking down to them as if they aren't a fellow firefighter. Uh, there's been a couple instances where they feel intimidated because they've maybe done something minor and you've kind of lashed out at them. Uh, and there's been a couple examples of um, uh, basically telling people what to do, but Basically, you know, the old saying of like uh, the difference between like a, a leader and a boss, like a leader is somebody who gets in the trenches with their co-workers and does the work with them. And then a boss is somebody who just tells people to do everything and doesn't lift a finger themselves. And there's a couple of people who have come to me and said that, you know, you do a lot of, uh, you know, telling people what to do, but then kind of just stand there and, you know, watch over them. Uh, instead of actually helping them with something. Uh, yes, that is my job. I'm here to make sure people are acting appropriately, that people are doing their jobs on a scene, and that I'm overlooking things. If I have my hands busy with something, then I can't see what's going <clears throat> on with the rest of the scene. Yeah, I think um, that, that does make sense if you're uh, running command for that night, but... Um, if you're running, say, medic or engine or tower, you know, you, you are expected, just like me, uh, like you and I tonight are on engine, you and I are going to be expected to do what an engine crew does, uh, and, you know, there's no standing around doing nothing uh, while, you know, command is the one who's standing there doing the observations and the radio work. We're supposed to be doing the grunt work, so. Is that what they are saying I'm doing is doing absolutely nothing, because that is not the case. I wouldn't say absolutely nothing, but there have been some complaints about uh, kind of just... Titan Standards, Fire Rescue. Oh. Request to stage 1012 Little Boulevard for an unknown problem. It's going to be 1012 Little Boulevard. Unknown problem. There is something wrong, wrong with these dispatches. I'll update injuries and uh, any further havoc. That's going to be station 2. Medic 2, Engine 2, respond. Cool. Okay, not us. Uh, yeah, so I wouldn't say it was that you're not doing anything. It's that um, your partner is expected to do a majority of the work, and uh, you're kind of just off to the side. I'm observing the fire crew that I'm taking nice. a part of. Not advising that fire can cancel response. Two, okay, four. well, Those I'm just cancel. telling you what I'm being told. So. Okay. That's okay. So, then what are you going to move about the firefighters that keep getting very inappropriate and very unprofessional with me, huh? Well, I'm gonna do so I need to write out a little note about it, or can I not just tell you about it like I just did? Because they seem to have told you about this, and now you are talking to me. So why don't you go talk to those firefighters that have been complete assholes to me? Well, some of those firefighters are the ones that have come to me. Uh, others I will definitely speak to and get their side of things. Uh, and if there's any action that I need to take, I will take it. Get their side. They vandalized a vehicle that's not even mine. I don't know about you, but that deserves some criminal time. I wouldn't say pouring water on a seat is uh, vandalizing something. It is 100% vandalizing, and it distracted me from my work as well. Okay. Well, uh, like I said, it's a two way street. So if I am expected to go to them by you and speak to them about their behavior, I also, as your supervisor, have to go to you and talk to you about the complaints I've received. So it's it's not a one-way street, it's a two-way street. 
Like, you, you are not exempt from, you know, discussions about behavior the same as they're not. I believe I am because I'm temporary. <laughs> well, uh, if a substitute teacher walks into a classroom and starts uh, belittling the students and the students go to the principal and tell the principal that they're upset with the behavior of the substitute teacher, the principal is not going to turn around and say, well, it's the substitute teacher, so they can do what they want until the real teacher comes back. That doesn't work that way. Well, actually, it does, believe it or not. Substitute teachers oftentimes go against the curriculum that they are expected to teach, and they teach that class the way they are wanting to for that day. That is how most substitute teachers work. Okay, well, uh, then I'll put it this way. When you are in my firehouse and my department, I expect you to treat people with respect. And you will find, if you do that, the other firefighters will treat you with respect back. I don't believe so. That's not how I work. So you... I go under my way of handling things, and if they can't accept it or handle it because they're a bunch of goddamn babies, that is their goddamn problem! Okay. Well, you're not going to raise your voice at me, number one. Number two... Yes, I am. I can do whatever I want here right now. No, you can't. You are the deputy chief, not the chief. I am the deputy chief, but I don't think... Let me get closer. 24, I think you forgot who my uncle was there, Chief Glennon. I'm fully aware of who your uncle is. Yes, and I don't think you'd like it if he heard about you talking to me this way. I will gladly give him a phone call later tonight and speak with him if that's what you like. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's see how that conversation goes. Chief. Can we have uh, police and road station? But I will say this. Just if just you're in my firehouse, you're going to treat the firefighters uh, with respect. That is... This firehouse belongs uh, to the government. I'm aware of that, but I am the chief. I am in this position for a reason. And you're going to treat my firefighters with respect. They are your firefighters too. And they expect you to be a leader, not a boss. Well, it is unfortunate for them because I'm a boss here today. If you have okay. a problem, take it up to the commissioner. Okay, I will. But I will say this. Treating people with disrespect the way that you are, it's I not going to go far. I don't give a shit about your opinion on respect. I, yeah, just the same as you don't seem to care about respect either. Like you, People don't respect you, is what I'm finding out. They, they fear you. With me. Good, I want them to fear me. That is how humanity has been all this time for thousands of years. Not the good, that is. Uprised and made things better. It's always so bad. Why politicians are shit. Why people are out there on the streets. Yeah, the and... evil always win, chief. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll see how that goes. Oh yes, but well, we got we got the door that goes to the truck phase now. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Uh, that I'm nice. glad you and I have births now. Just learning about that. I I forgot that we hired contractors to come and put a freaking door in, so we don't have to run around the outside just to get to our trucks. Thank God. You know how many times I've slipped in the snow on the sidewalk <laughs> getting to the apparatus. If I have to go to this call, Kenyon, you can just have the tablet, have it, it's free of charge. Oh, fantastic. Hey, the time that this is taken. Responded 7191 Howick, Road, or Harwick Avenue for a vehicle fire. And that's going to be 7191 Howick Avenue for a vehicle fire. Advised, vehicle being reported as possibly explosive. Best location notes you're going to have is 7191 Howick in the alleyway. No further information, time at 1829. Battalion to received medic five EMS one ladder recursion engine five ladder one rescue one command respond. Fire 
Are you confirming units responding? Medic 5, ladder 1, rescue 5, Italian 2. Italian 2, engine 5, ladder 1, rescue 1, EMS 1, and medic 5. Holy shit, some dude just ran out in front of them. Battalion 2, stand by for a size up. Battalion 2, I'm on scene of a uh, confirmed vehicle fire. It's going to be on the Charlie side of the structure at Postal 7194. Best access point's going to be on Power Street, Engine 5 upon arrival, pull into the uh, alleyway and then charge a line. We'll need the water supply set up and then ladder will be on a exposures and then rescue assist on the engine. We do have confirmed fire and smoke. Well, goodbye, son. Jesus Christ. Then mm -hmm. 4 is going to be this alley to my right. Okay, so. up. Battalion 2 will be on Power Street Command. Battalion 2, Power Street Command. Captain. All right, let's pull a booster line, pack up. Battalion 2, all units operating on Power Street Command. Be advised, we do have uh, medium fire and medium smoke in the rear of the structure. It is uh, looking it like is it's close. possibly exposing to a dumpster. Yep, uh, okay. I'm having trouble with this hose line here. It's not. I, I don't have. I have no pressure. You you gotta you gotta get. God damn it. Two lines. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Hey guys, just make sure to keep your distance. We've been having uh, some issues lately with uh, exploding devices inside uh, fires. I gotcha. We've been getting targeted by arsonists, so just yep. keep an eye out, Chief. I don't know. That's, that's, that's just the card. Engine 5, still no pressure. Okay, I turned it on. I don't know what you want me to do. Maybe you're using the hose wrong? No, I'm using it right. I need... Their work, theirs works just fine. I it's see that. Same, it's from the same vehicle. So what do you... Yep, I gotta get a different hose then. Something okay. wrong with this nozzle. Pio, 24 far ready. I got pressure to y'all. Yeah, yeah, pressure. Yep, different there nozzle. You can trip me off. Faulty nozzle. On scene. Battalion 2 fire radio. Battalion 2. Start law enforcement, please, to 7191 in the alleyway at Power Street Command. We have located a uh, suspect's vehicle. Can't find it. Not really nice area on the scene or advisor. Thank you, Surfest. Oh, so this is the vehicle that dropped off uh, White's daughter. I think I contact with yeah. the correction cost thing. Hey, White, that's, that's you to my left, right? Command all units operating on power street. Excuse me, I'm here to your left. Uh, past you. Why? He's calling for you. Avoid hey, White, let's just do what, what we can. We'll put the fire out, but we gotta preserve the crime scene. That way we can figure out what happened. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. So I make sure you got a clear head. Obvious, so they tried to get rid Man. of the evidence. Like I said, we're not able to see from the lane. We're not able to see from the uh, the alpha side of the building, which will be on all accounts. We're not able to see anything. Doing very around. good. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure there. You got the front of the vehicle the that I see is on the fire there. You got to aim for its glass. Thank you. You are welcome. See, I Hot tell spot. you, I do not do nothing. I have like a car. So I know <laughs> where any little spark comes from where that fire is going to go. <laughs> what? I hate this character with a passion. Give me a sec. Uh, keep, keep putting water on it. This uh, nozzle is giving me problems. You best what body do. Yeah, I'm back. Hi, to go. You need another tank on your bike. Uh, what you need. Nope, air's good so far, thank you. Okay. Power street command, fire ready. Power street command, go ahead. Fire is out. We'll be starting overhaul. Break. Power street command, engine, grab a tick and just drop your line there. Check for any hot spots. I'll grab it, excuse me. Fire radio 
Okay. Yeah, I just want to show you around. Yeah, I'll be clearing the 7191 instant. SQ5, copy clearing 7191 instant, 1840. What are we looking like? Uh, vehicle looks still looks hot to the surface, but uh, I don't see any more fires. Okay. Sounds good, Chief. Uh, seems to be a counter of gasoline now. In front of the car. Okay. Go ahead and, uh... If you guys can poke around in the dumpsters, and, uh, just do it carefully. Make sure that, uh... Nothing caught on fire or any of, like, the rubbish, or the easy over combustibles, like those boxes over there. Yep, sounds up. good. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Yep. Hey Baldwin, let's uh, grab some pike poles and go through the dumpster. I ain't going to no dumpster. <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess not. <sighs> yep. We have a kettle? Who the hell uses our kettle? Uh, oh, two, all five, five, yeah. Tea drinkers. I see. No, no, you gotta migrate that the water. That's the best way know. to get. It's the best way to get warm water. No, it ain't. Uh, it I is the most I, efficient I and best way to get water. Here, let, 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 has <laughs> on radiation. Thanks. Let, let me ask you this, Baldwin. So, you're from Florida, right? Yes. All right, oh, so geez, so geez, like Lord, so me. so you're from the south, so like I, I don't know if it extends to Florida or not, but like sweet tea is that like a thing for for like yes. Florida? I absolutely yes. yes. Okay. I like pouring gallons of sugar in my sweet tea. Okay, okay. Good so job. so that being said, like, uh, is your version of sweet tea like like the kind you make like homemade, or like are you cool with like the 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 powdered Lipton stuff? No, no, that powdered shit shouldn't even exist. Exactly. See, so tea. so so tea drinkers might say that. Microwaving water is the equivalent of that. Incoming. Okay, we'll say though. Well, the problem, the difference is, is they are wrong. You <laughs> microwave water is most efficient. That's where to have some tea. I'm sorry. sorry. You're gonna make it water. microwaving <laughs> water. Shaw, sure, cover cover your ears. To be fair, yes, you microwave the goddamn water. Just requesting your. Oh, no, you fucking yeah. don't. Uh, the moment there is a shifting God. suspect. What the hell is wrong with this fucking city? There's always something going on that like shooting. Uh, welcome, ma'am. Welcome to San Andreas, ma'am. There's a reason I wear an undervest. Oh, she thought it was locked. Oh, yeah, she's not here. I wish she was, though. Yeah, so we all do. Um, right, so... Uh, recently, there has been an internal affairs report uh, regarding a firefighter, firefighter, Kevin, and well, actually, to be truthful, there's been two. Um, one of them was regarding him possibly being um, under the influence of alcohol whilst on duty. We'll see what this is. Hold on. Attention, San Andreas Fire request is re you're responding to request 7299 Amira Park Boulevard. Again, that for a motor vehicle accident. Again, that's seven two nine nine Mirror Park, Mirror Park Boulevard for a motor vehicle accident. We at the casino racetrack. Advised the subject struck a wall, saying they have no feeling in their body. Unknown further injuries. Was wearing a helmet. Did not lose consciousness. No further information. Timeout at eighteen fifty seven. Please send rescue. Please send rescue. <laughs> please don't send ladder. Please don't send engine. Just rescue. Crossing my fingers on time. One will be out. Uh, Get off the air. A dead body uh, on Mount Chiliad. Get off the air. Medic five, engine five, and Fuck. rescue one response. Oh, oh boy, see ya. They pick everyone but me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Goodbye. Correction, rescue. See ya. EMS one missile to you. Clear the fire touch that. Ten four. I don't know if you're assigned to that. Check and rescue recovery. Go ahead and route that way as well. Oh, 
Oh, that was a bad idea. Nope, 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 nope. Somebody get that on the GPS for me, please. Yep. Medic five in route. Copy. For their information as well for medics, uh, reports no difficulty breathing landed on their side. He was responding to the they are going to be actively on the racetrack. I believe your entrance is going to be the northern, most northern side of the parking lot in the casino. Rescue 5, looks like we're getting led in by a unit. And it's just wondering if we can rescue 5. Oh god, my embarkers. Sorry, I probably should have worded that better. Is the numbness the from a uh, previous injury? And was it exacerbated by this impact? It was a previous injury. Okay, did it get worse with this impact, or is it the same? It's just about the same. It's not the first time it happened. Okay, can you wiggle your toes for me? Not at all. What you should they be at all? Samara. Samara. Okay, Samara. Samara. Uh, 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 we'll go ahead and go for... Full spinal precautions, just as a measure of safety. How much do you care about these clothes? Hey, Samara, so it's, we were... it's Dublin. I'm, I'm here. It's oh. fun. I'm going to try to take off your helmet, but for now, I'm just going to hold off, just in case you have any spinal injuries. That's okay. Should I just quickly run out of spine for you? Any trouble breathing? Not at all. Okay, how about dizziness or nausea, nausea since, uh, since the crash? It's a little bit nauseous, but... That's no, we're not just okay. Do you think you're gonna vomit today? No. You don't think you're gonna vomit, okay. I'm asking what it was you had to eat. I gotta remember here. Uh. I had some chili late earlier. Dine, are you able to get access to our abdomen to help you? You asking for a neck? No, abdomen. Abdomen. I I can try. Yeah, if you can. I'm just gonna get a vitals. Full vitals. I've got my. Uh, have you got your life back? Yeah. Um. Okay. I'll grab a hooker. Yeah. Up, I'll go. Yeah. Thank you. Let me grab it first. Alrighty. You said you can't feel your body, so I'm not gonna ask you if you can feel any pain. But if you do feel pain, please let me know. Oh, boo. Incoming nine one one. There we go. Okay, you want to get a C collar on her, please? Yep. Doing that now. Have you ever had a C collar, Samara, before? I have. Right, okay, so you understand the uncomfortableness of it. Um, mm -hmm. It shouldn't be for too long, maybe 40 minutes to an hour at most, just until we can get to the hospital and they can run some scans just to make sure you don't have any spinal injuries or anything that uh, should be of concern. Yeah, I got right. you. 
We're also going to strap you down to a backboard. Again, you can't feel your you can't feel your body. That's a concern to me. You said it's from a long-standing injury. As such, just day to one, returning mm -hmm. back to quarters uh, to meet with Emmy. Just for policy sake, Samara, I just need your verbal consent that you're okay to go to hospital today. Go for it. Okay, you're not feeling any pain or discomfort at the moment. Nope. Nope. Give a preferred Seeming hospital. This. I have no preferred hospital. No preferred hospital, okay. So Pillbox Hill Medical Center is our closest appropriate hospital, if you're okay with that. That's fine with me. Alrighty. See, now she's trauma, if you want to get her on um, a nasal cannula or an RB when you're, when you're in the ambulance, it's up to you. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll just get her on a nasal cannula just for the... Um, just for the sake of... Uh, just for cap, no. Um, alrighty, so she's face down. Uh, Kay, if you want to hold the backboard up alongside her... What we're gonna do is the three of us, myself, Cap, and Chief, we're gonna roll her up against the board. Once she makes contact with the board, you're gonna go down with us and she should come down on top of the board. Okay? Okay. Got it. Alrighty. All right. We all ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready here. Alrighty. One, two, three, move. Go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, contact, Kay. Let her down gently. Uh, we, we've uh, we've been there before, haven't we, Samara? Yep. There we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and strap you up to the board now. Kay, you want to put your boot under the toe of it so that i got some space between the gravel? Yep. Thank you, sir. Just a heads up, we've not got blood pressure yet, if you want to check that, this before we go. Yeah, I'll grab one while she's still here. Cab, here's your head bed if you want to secure your head. Not you. you want to bother with head blocks? Right here she has what was that? Do you want to bother with head blocks today? Ah, uh, the head bed should, should do yeah, it for sorry. it. 130 over 90, your blood pressure is just about spotless. Slightly high, but just about spotless. Head, she's fine secure. Gotcha. I wish my blood pressure looked like that. I know, me too. My blood pressure is probably way higher than what it should be. <laughs> Alrighty, Cap, I'll take over her head. Yep. Okay, you want to grab her feet? We'll get her into the yep. chalk onto the stretcher. Yep. Watch Alrighty. One, two, three, up. Yep. Alrighty. Yep. There we go. Thank you, sir. Hey, Chief, we'll I start walking. I'll start walking with you once you're uh, done wrapping that up, please. Yeah, give me one second. Hey, Samara, if you need anything, I hope you still have my number. Just give me a call, right? Will do. Cool. Fire is the command on the MBA scene in the casino racetrack status. Uh, I already heard something when I was over there. What's going on? Engine. Um, Engine look, five. Just to put it nicely, I and mean, we pretty much handled the bike as in the first one, part, I'll which I'm fine with. The medic, no, but the chief is just standing there, doing the absolutely the nothing. And I just asked her if she wanted a hand or like anything like that, and she said she's just gonna stand there. And, you know, I, I made the you know the little punching jerk. You're just gonna stand there and look pretty. She's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I just told Evan, hey, like wrap it up and we'll leave it at that. She's like, oh no, you know, I've been doing everything. There's extra hands, you can do it. It's just like, well, you know, engine should be securing and whatnot. Yeah, I'm aware. Obviously, um, you were there. Sir. I, I this isn't the first time. That's that's the only reason I'm bringing it up. Is yeah, this is a common occurrence with them. I've uh, I spoke to her earlier uh, today during shift, so um, I've already told her that this can't this thing this that kind of thing can't happen. So I'm gonna have to speak to her again about it. So yeah. it's causing animosity between the firefighters, myself, and the other captains, and the assistant chief of all. Hundred percent agree. And it's just it's continuing. And it's, can can you do me a favor? Can you please put all of this into writing because thus far every, yeah. everything's been verbal to me from multiple people and that's fine but i need something in, in writing and no one's done yeah, that absolutely 
I can give you some that I've also known since. Please, please write your own report and get it to my desk. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll, right. um, I'll gather some names if you'd like, and I'll uh, get it out as an email. Absolutely, so. yeah, because right, I can bring it to, you know, her un her uncle. <laughs> so, all right, yeah. I'm going to get back there before she could thinks I'm missing. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah, we'll do, right. sir. Thank you. Have fun. I think uh, Baldwin's getting a bit impatient, Chief. I figured. Hey, White. Yes, Chief. Can you do me a favor and drive? I gotta do something on the uh, cat here real quick. It's fine.